Hi guys, and before I start this um, top 10, I'd just like to point out that um, this video doesn't include the basic, like the, the track and the controls, etc, etc. It's just, in my opinion, um, what um, what's, on, uh, what's in my top 10, basically. Um, it is hard to do, I've been thinking about it for a while now. Um, so I'm going to have a go at it and see what happens. I hope you enjoy. So yeah, it's the um, uh, Oakley and uh, Oakworth Valley um, uh, Station. I think I've said that wrong from the, from the railway children set. It's um, oh, here we go. I can't remember the names. Um, Kylie and Worth Valley Railway. Um, but it says it's um, Oakworth. Um, it, has one, it has one platform, uh, some key dates for, for it. It opened in 1867 and then closed in uh, 1962. So it wasn't really, it only just made 100 years, um, yeah, 90 years, sorry. And then it reopened uh, well, a year after its 100th anniversary. It opened in um, 1968. Um, we'll have a quick look. Um, yeah, so, yeah, pretty thick. Um, this Batman, obviously, um, glazed windows, high details you can see by the door, um, a bit of weathering. Um, it's got a post box, it's got some detail in there, painting, um, as you can see there, uh, clock. Yeah, this was from the Railway Children set, um, and I quite like it. Um, for someone who can't kit build um, for personal reasons, it's uh, quite a good addition to any layout really. Um, steam, uh, diesel, um, futuristic locos, you never know, um, some people might make them. Um, yeah, so it's um, a preserved one, obviously it's in Bradford. Yeah, so it's um, basically it's this that got me into um, Model Railway basically, I used to have a poly with uh, Princess Elizabeth and um, a Continental um, tank engine, which I don't have no more, so the poly left. And, uh, and well, it's in short, it's um, this set, it's my first Hornby, and I used to run with a few trying coaches and whatever you get in this set, um, run on this, which is a um, station, uh, except a station and a bridge and a mat. Um, I need to run this with it as well. Uh, anything basically, get my hands on uh, the green drying trucks, um, you name it. I, I ran it um, as a kid, I didn't care. Looking back at it now, should listen to my granddad. Uh, um, so, yeah, I have done a review on this. If you'd please be um, kind enough to watch it. If you already haven't, if you have, then don't bother. Um. Guard vans and um, full brake, really. Um, I like both of them. I've got a thing for them. Um. Yeah, you, you can get all sorts of them. Um, there's just something about them that's different, especially the full brakes. Just something about them that's different to the uh, um, normal coaches, obviously, apart from the restaurant ones. Um, um, this, and this is a baggy one, but I've got a, you can get a one. Uh, the thing that reminds me of a um, full brake, so I've got this full brake. Um, this is the LNR one I've got uh, by Batman. Um, pretty nice, it's quite a nice little thing. I do like it when you get some more. Um, and then you like guard vans, you've got this little cute thing here, which I think is a uh, northeastern, so it's LNR, I think. Could be wrong. Um, I don't have. I think this is another alien. Always, this could be just a standard generic one. Um, yeah. And then um, like this southern, southern one. Um, and uh, obviously next up we've got this beast. Um, um, Queen Mary brake van. Um, someone once said to me a brake van is a brake van. I was like, well, no, because this one's something different to all the others. Well, in my opinion, anyway, 
heavy, it's different, it's got like totally different axles, um, axles or uh, articulated, I think that's the right word. Um, you know, obviously I've got the toad ones and the LMS ones that you've seen. Restaurant cars or kitchen cars or um, the diners, I don't know if they're called that. Um, you had many names over the years from different companies. Um, this is a, um, I'll show you what we've got. We have a BR one um, in grey and blue. Um, I don't know why because I don't have any diesels, uh, but I like them, so it's in there. Um, then um, clearly next up is, uh, for obvious reasons, um, the Pullman kitchen car. I think this is the third class. Um, well, mainly because it's got my name on and not many have, uh, well, my name, really. Let's be fair about this. Uh, there's no trains as such, I don't believe. Um, so, yeah, that's one of the main reasons. I could have really put this on the list separate. Uh, but, no, I thought I'd do it in the group of um, kitchen cars. Um, so, yeah. Um, next, we have this um, highly detailed, um, have you seen much here? Um, highly detailed one. Um, you see in the R. So we've got a BR, a Pullman, which I think could be Southern, I'm not sure. L and the R. And a really old fashioned Great Western one. Um, you can't see anything in there because, well, simply it's got cardboard in there. I don't know why. Even if you look down the, the chairs, you can't really see anything. Um, so you've got a Great Western one. That space. Uh, and then we've got, well, they are the same as the uh, grey and blue one. Um, we've got a Great Western um, BR uh, cream, of crust, uh, cream and chocolate. Um, in the words of uh, Gary Sparrow from Good Night Sweetheart, it's nice for a wartime pub colour. Um, so, yeah. And then um, you know, we have the Southern one. Tank engines. I just like tank engines. Um, in well, in any livery, any um, age, as such, if you know what I mean. Uh, big, small. Um, you know, I just like them. They're just, they're, they're, you know, I found them to tender engines. Uh, tender engines are common, and everyone um, likes them, uses them. Um, uh, I just like you know, different sizes. As you see here, we have a, a Taff Valley one, and there it's a 060, and then next to it, we have the London Panny Tank, it's another 060. But it look, look it, it's just even though it's 060, it's still huge. It's still the, the, the panny over runs it, and then we've got like you know, it's a Thompson L1. Uh, and we've got this Fairburn, and you know, they're both, they just look gorgeous. So, yeah, tank endings. Um, I've got more than this, this is just a little. There's also, um, uh, there's also a, a little pug missing LMS pug I've got as well. Um, obviously, I've got Smoky Joe, I've got Polly, I've got the Christmas ones, so I've got all sorts. Um, yeah, M7, uh, E2, E4, you know, I have loads more. Um, I think I should do a running session one day on just tank engines. Um, you don't see enough of them anywhere, YouTube, f f um, Facebook, uh, model rail exhibitions, you just you just don't see enough. Um, sorry, this wasn't meant to be a rant. Yeah, it's tank engines. <laughs> Liveries, um, I just like the variant of liveries you get. I know what you see here is not a good example. Um, we'll, go, we'll go for them. The, the, the more they are pre grouping, I like them. Um, for example, the. Uh, uh, that one there, uh, 
South East, oh, I can't remember. Actually, I, I, I mine's gone blank, I do apologise. Um, this is a pre grouping livery. Um, this is a pre grouping, grouping livery. Uh, so is the uh, Class 5 there. Um, so is the N7, and so is the E2. And I believe um, so is the Terrier. Um, I just like pre grouping liveries. Um, I'm not sure what it is, it's, you know, um, but I say pre-grouping, I mean like in general just, just grouping like uh, just, just liveries. Um, granted, the, uh, um, the, the, you know, if you, if you do BR stuff, it's mainly just black. Um, uh, it does uh, um, look, look like, but then it, it does look the same as, you know, the next look that comes on in BR black it is. But then again, if you do LMS and you do LNER, yeah, but yeah, you know, just the variant liveries here. Um, I'm not going to put down on it. The variant liveries, you know, um, from from that to that uh, to the, the got the blue or the A4s, the apple green, um, and the maroon, and the great western green. You know, they're all they're all nice. It's it, you know, it's nice to see a colourful railway. I like to see colourful railways. It, it means it enjoyed. Uh, black which remind me of funerals. So. I'll still run it, trust me, I'll still run it. Um, so yeah, liveries. Winston Churchill. Um, don't get me wrong, I like the class of loco, as in the Navy, um, the Battle of Britain, uh, and the um, West Country class. I love I love them, I think they're lovely, I love the wheels and everything. <clears throat> but, there's one particular... Um, Loco in that collection, I like more than any, and that's the Winston Churchill. Um, yeah, this is an old model. Um, it's, it's got the usual stuff, sprung buffers, um, things like detail on the cab, um, pickups, and all of it. No plug though, I'm mad. Um, so this is the old one from about 2000. Um, so Winston Churchill. Um, I just love the man in general. Uh, you know what he did for the country. Yes, he wasn't the best partition overall. Overall, you know he did take some men to their deaths, knowingly, uh, from what I've read and um, uh, from what I've seen of documentaries. Uh, but yeah, but I just love the loco and I love the uh, the guy that was Winston Churchill. So yeah, Winston Churchill. Streamlined uh, Great Western. Um, I like all streamlined British locos, well, Steam anyway. Um, but Great Western aren't known for streamlined. They're more known for like um, the River uh, uh, Expresses from I think it's Pendon down to uh, Cornwall, wherever. You know, they're not really known for streamlined. Um, they got they've done a few attempts. Granted, um, this King. Um, a castle, and I think they did a diesel car. I think it's nicknamed Banana. I don't know why. Um, a diesel car or a parcel car, um, depending on which way you look at it. Um, so yeah, this had to make the list. Um, I just can't wait to get the um, castle one. Um, but I love all streamlined locomotives in general. Um, you know, um, this one's re well, rareish. Um, I'm not a fan of um, Great Western Locos as such, but I do like this one. Um, it gives the king a different look. So, so yeah, guys. Um, basically, streamline Great Western Locos. Mallard and Flying Scotsman. Yeah, I know everyone's got one, and um, Hornby and uh, Batman and uh, Tricks, I believe, have all released one. I think there's one Engage, there's oh, there's all sorts. They've all released them. They're common as anything. Uh, Hornby released one any, any excuse. Um, but like with the Smoky Joe, like I said, when I um, got my job, 
I've got some spec ash. This is one on the port with Smoky Joe as a twin set. So it means a lot to me. I look at it, it reminds me of Gordon. Yeah, it's Gordon's based on one. Just the tender's different. And the Mallard. Um, well, I saw it in the shop in Banbury. And I just fell in love with it. And I never, you know, near enough ever since then, I've fell in love with LNAR basically. Um, one super detail. Uh, this one is railroad, well, basically railroad. It's not, but it, it is classed as railroad. Um, would never part with them. Um, so yeah, Fly Scotsman and the Mallard. Great Northern Railway, um, number one for me. Uh, I know it's not an item as such; it's more of a company, but uh, Great Northern. Um, wherever I live in Burton, there's a pub called Great Northern, and, and as a kid, I saw that in the cabinet in the pub wall, and I just was intrigued uh, with the with the loco itself. And obviously, when I got older and more knowledgeable, um, I did a bit of research on the Great Western. And I realised there was a few um, locos that not, 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 there's not that many. Uh, it was, is it rather sad? Um, I, I wish companies would bring more um, more pre-grouping locos out. You know, like um, obviously they've got the H class coming out by Hornby, which is a great southern loco. Um, you know, I wish to bring out more uh, Caledonian railway stuff. Um, you know, etc. etc. Obviously, Rapide are bringing out the Sterling Single, uh, which, to be honest with you, I actually can't wait for it. It sounds sad, you know, being so excited for a loco, but it's iconic. Um, for example, kids today are being brought up, whoever watched Thomas, are being brought up on Emily, which is just a Sterling Single. Um, Gordon, again, uh, which is basically um, that. Which is well, that one there is Great Northern, um, as you can see. But uh, obviously, Gordon is based on that locomotive. Um, so yeah, it, you know, kids do see a, a few Great Northern logos. I think there's another one in Great Northern. Um, Thomas, I think there's this one. I'm not sure. I think it's got Charlie. Um, yeah. And then we got this wonderful Atlantic by uh, Batman. Um, yeah. Fabulous, just just awesome. Um, I think this is the N2 class. Could be wrong. This is Hornby's work version. Um, still the same sort of mechanism as a uh, mainline, you know. But it's a very nice locomotive. I just wish they'd bring out more. Um, well, any companies, uh, any company really. Uh, just more pre-grouping locos. Even I'd like to see even the rocket, the rocket. Um, but we're not going to get them. I don't think um, way the, the way it's going. I don't think we'll get them. But what we have got, we should make the most of. Really, guys. So yeah, that's it. Great Northern was number one. Thank you for watching. God bless. Bonus footage. I really um, couldn't put this on the list, but. Um, I could, I could. Well, I wanted to, but I couldn't because um, I look in the, I look in the easy books, uh, DVDs and uh, biographies, uh, autobiographies, whatever. Um, and I see pictures. As you can tell, been around a bit. I see pictures, and I think I can recreate, I can recreate that, um, or film. And I think I can do that. I have, I've got that logo. I've got stock, stock like it. I can do that. Um, so we'll have a look. Right, um, so what the two films I've got are um, uh, it's a great film. If you're not seeing it, you, you should go and check it out. It's a great film. It's old, but it's great. Especially if you're a great Western fan, it's got some Southern in there as well. Um, uh, um, it, it's a really nice film. I'm not sick and tired of watching it. And then, obviously, um, The Mallard. Um, yeah, I look at that thing. I can do that. You know, you, know, you get the idea. It's got some some good history on that. Um, but so I've got loads of these. Um, this is just 
the basic of any old one. Um, you know, let's see if we've got any pictures in there. Um, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I have one of them locomotives. Um, don't have the stock, but I have one of the locomotives. Um, I'm like, well, I can sort of uh, recreate that if I want to. Um, I, well, I've got a, a four-wheel Hornby coach I can put in there, and I've got some teaks. Um, I can do that, you know, you know. So books do give me stuff to talk about, and you know, et cetera, et cetera. Ooh, ouch. Um, so, yeah, um, other books I've got here is... Uh, Really, really old uh, Encyclopedia of Railway. Really old. Um, the date marked in there, nine, 19, um, 1969, but obviously uh, I got it as a present off my grandma from a car boot. <coughs> um, I do apologise, it's, it's taking longer than I expected. I got a little bit carried away. Um, same with this book, I look at it and I think, um, well, it's a nice loco. I would like one in my collection, I like that everyone does really, you know. Um, GMT tank, a station, looks nice. Um, yeah, usual stuff. So, yeah, and then, um, obviously, autobiographies, uh, Joyce Stevenson, two different ones, um, Brunel. Uh, trying to work out what went through their mind as they created what they did. And then, obviously, we have one of the uh, founders of the Model Railway, um, Frank Hornby, um, Life and Times. Um, they're all great reads. Um, if you can get your hands on one, please check them out. Um, thank you.